Hello everyone, how you all doing today? My name is Tim Kirkland. Welcome back to the Spirit of the Cocktail. And today I'm doing an extremely special cocktail. Um, just to give you a little background. I have a very good friend of mine. I've known him, it seemed like years. He's a brother from another mother to me. David from Booze and the Rocks. And several weeks ago, he came up with a drink called the Palm Thumb. I've been meaning to make this video for some time now. I think today is the day, okay? Uh, Dave is a wonderful YouTuber. Booze on the Rocks is his YouTube site. Please check him out. Give him plenty of love, plenty of likes. Please subscribe if you haven't already. He makes outstanding cocktails. He does reviews on different spirits. He even lets the subscribers choose what he makes from time to time, which is awesome. So, David from Booze on the Rocks, check him out. This drink right here, again, is called the Palm Thumb. And what it consists of is a London Dry Gin, simple syrup. We have pomegranate juice, and we have lime juice. So, this is a stirred drink. I'm sorry, a shaking drink. I'm nervous. I don't want to mess up David's uh, cocktail. I'm nervous. Okay, this might be the first time I've been nervous making a video. Shaking drink. We have our shaking tin right here. And what we're going to do is start off with 30 mils or one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. We're going to continue that with 30 mils or one ounce of quality pomegranate juice. To this, we're gonna add one ounce or 30 mils of simple syrup, one-to-one -one simple syrup. And we're gonna add 60 mils or two ounces of London dry gin. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and go with beef feeder. Again, that's two ounces or 60 mils. Again, this is a shaking drink. I have my ice ready right here. Put it in our shaker glass. I'm gonna shake this for about 10 quality seconds. And basically what I'm going to do is just strain this directly into, I have a fancy Nick and Nora or cocktail glass that's chilled. Now you can pretty much put this any way you like. David calls for this to be poured over a big chunk of ice in a rocks glass. But this drink is so special, I think it needs to go in this fancy cocktail glass. Look at that. Okay, now for a garnish, I went on ahead and did a dehydrated lime, and I'm just set it right on the top. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Cheers, you guys. The Palm Thumb from David from Booze on the Rocks. Cheers. Mm, on the rocks, wow, you smell the fruitiness from this pomegranate. I can't wait to try this. Oh my goodness. It's tart, sweet. It has, you can taste the um, the gin in this with the with the juniper berry, the juniper berries. You can taste the citrus actually from this daggone pomegranate juice. The lime is just like bringing everybody out to play. It is this is a gorgeous drink. Yeah, this is good. The simple syrup is really bringing out the flavor in a lot of these 
Otherwise, the gin, you really wouldn't taste gin, I would imagine, without the simple syrup. Everything is plain. Everything is blended well together. This is a gorgeous drink. You guys need to try this if you haven't already. Again, this is called the Palm Thumb from Booze on the Rocks. Check them out when you get a chance. You won't be disappointed. Dave is one of the best out there. And love you, Dave. Cheers. Everyone try this drink from Booze on the Rocks. Cheers. Love you. Bye.